Welcome back to Kaiju Tutorials. We're going to continue the simple inventory system. Um, in this part, we're going to create a fetch via um, ID. So we're going to call it get method. Then we're going to call it fetch categories category by ID. Then we're going to specify that we are looking for a category ID. Then we're going to make it an asynchronous request. So I'm just mixing it up so you can see how to make it an uh, asynchronous request in Express um, versus making it synchronous. And we take the request and the response as usual. We create the header, which is optional. Then we set the try catch to catch any errors and return a the error as it in JSON format. Now what we need to do is first um, we need to create a constant which takes the parameter that was sent, the category ID parameter that was sent. So how we do that is that we say request dot params dot and the name of the parameter, which in this case it's category ID. We'd call it categories ID. Um, then what we need to do is create another constant that's going to capture the results from the database. So we're going to use a find one. So that's going to return on a one record, which matches that parameter. There are other ways that we could do it, uh, but in this case, we're using the find one because we want only one record. So we specify the the um, ID that we're looking for. So database ID. And we'll also want to ensure that that particular category is not deleted as well. Then if it is that we find a result and it's not null. Well, first, if it's null, we need to handle that to let the news user know there is no category found. Else, we need to send uh, return the response with the records found as a JSON format. So let's test that method. So we need to specify ID. So what we can do is go back to our previous method where we had fetch all. So let's update electronics. Okay, something's missing. And the problem is that we shouldn't have cap, um, pluralized the category ID to categories ID because what what we actually sent in the form in the um, parameter is actually a category ID. So we need to ensure that we use the right pluralization. So category ID is a problem. So let's prove that point. Okay. So let's change it to category ID and see if it works. And it works. 